Hi there, and welcome to the Kawartha Lake Stewards Association video on equalized sampling techniques. In this video, we will go over the supplies needed, how to choose a location, the proper sampling techniques, and where to take the sample once complete. The first part is to pick a location. The sampling must be performed in water that is 1 to 1.5 meters deep, and in an area where there may be problems such as swimming areas, small inlets and bays, or where contamination or marinas may come into effect. The supplies needed are a sample collection bottle, nitrile gloves, a cooler, and an ice pack, and likely a boat or hip waders to get to your sample site. If you do not have nitrile gloves, please make sure to thoroughly wash your hands to eliminate the risk of contamination. Bottles, labels, and chain of custody forms are available for pickup at the KLSA annual spring meeting. Great! Now that we've picked a sample location and received our sample collection bottle, we can begin. Start by putting on the nitrile gloves or by washing your hands thoroughly. Next, get to your sampling location and unscrew the lid. Do not place the lid where it can become contaminated and do not let the open mouth or neck of the bottle touch anything before collecting the sample. A helpful tip is to turn your head away to make sure you do not breathe into the sample. Hold the bottle near the base and plunge it neck down to a depth of 15 to 30 centimeters or to your elbow. Now, turn the bottle so the mouth is slightly upwards towards the current. If there is no current, push the bottle forwards. Fill the bottle to about 90% full. If you overfill the bottle, flip out the excess by flicking the wrist. Do not pour it out. Once you have collected your sample, it must stay cool, approximately 5 degrees to be exact. Place the sample in a cooler with an ice pack to maintain this optimum temperature. Please remember to fill out a KLSA label that will contain a sample ID, volunteer's name, the date and the time, and affix this label to the bottle. Also remember to fill out the E. coli log, which comes with the sampling bottle, and the chain of custody to the lab you are taking the sample to. Deliver the samples to either the CAWT lab, located at Fleming College in Lindsay, or the SGS lab, located in Lakefield. Please choose the closest lab to the lake that you are sampling. The results will be sent to you and will be presented in number of E. coli colony forming units per 100 milliliters. If your sample contains a high count, which is 50 CFU per 100 milliliters or higher, a retest will have to be completed. E. coli should be tested at the same location six times throughout the summer. As a general concept, sampling should be done on the first, third, and fourth Monday in both July and August. Please note that this testing costs $60 per site for the season. On behalf of the Corth Lake Stewards Association, I hope you enjoyed this video and happy testing. If you wish to volunteer to perform E. coli sampling, please email stewards at yahoo.ca or visit the website at klsa.wordpress.com.